Today's the day. We have the ThinkPad X914 and the ThinkPad X915. Let's take a look at them straight ahead. Hey guys, it's Alice from TechEarist.com and we are here with the ThinkPad X9 14 inch and the ThinkPad X9 15 inch. I know some of you have been waiting for this video. I already have done an unboxings of both of these and you can find those in my video uh, section of the channel. I'll link them down below as well. Um, and some of you had questions on the comparison between these two and that's what we're going to get into next here so that we can uh, hopefully answer some of the questions that you have. If you have any questions beyond what I cover here, please drop them in the comments below. I will try to answer them as best as I can. All right, guys, the first thing I want to address is a screen door effect on these panels. I know that um, I did a video already on the 14, which this is the one right here. Uh, and you, some of you have uh, said that you can see the screen door effect on this panel. I still do not see it myself but I made these videos so that you guys can uh, have a look for yourself. Uh, I'm gonna compare the 14 to the 15 uh, side by side, both at the same uh, approximate brightness setting. It's about a 33% or so, maybe 40% brightness on both of them. And uh, you can compare them. As you can see, there's a little glare right here. And this does have, an, they both have the anti-reflective coating, but you still get a little glare. And these are overhead lights, so that's part of the reason why that's glaring. Ooh, I'm gonna push that down a little bit so that we can try to get some of that out of there. And I'm doing one-handed today, so let's see what. Let's get in here on the um, on the 14 inch, and we're gonna take a look at that. The screen door effect is supposed to be more prevalent on a white background, so I'm moving in as close as I can without um, distorting the lens and gonna stop there for you guys just to take a look and maybe you can see something when you get that close but for me it's not a problem but I understand that some of you have a sensitivity toward it so that's why I'm doing this video and we're getting in here this is the 15 inch and we're gonna get in here as well and see how close we can get here and let that start so that I think is camera uh, lens issues, not issues, but just uh, the anomalies that happen when you get that close to something with the camera lens. So, and then we're going to switch over to the browser and we're just going to go in and some people have said the text was uh, crisper on the Slim 7i when I did a comparison between the 14 and the, um, the 14 X9 and the Slim 7i. So here we are getting in close on the 14 inch. And there we are. That's about as close as I can get without going out of focus. And that's on the browser on a white background. And then we're gonna move over to the 14, I mean the 15 inch and take a look at this. Get in as close as I can without distortion and keep in focus. And then you guys feel free to pause the video and take a look yourselves. So that is the displays. That, that's the displays on these guys, okay? So they're the, the same display. They're both 2.8K OLED displays with anti-reflective coating and touch display. So they're the exact same technology, just one is bigger than the other. That is the only major difference. So the next thing I wanted to cover is the trackpad. Now, some folks are saying that the 14 inch has a Sensil haptic trackpad. Sensil is the one that makes the trackpad for this particular unit, and that Ciccone is the one that makes the trackpad for this particular unit. Now, some commenters have said that they could see a gap on this trackpad when I was showing my B roll. I still cannot see uh, anywhere where I can, well, they said they could see the internals. I still cannot see that. I can see that there's uh, it looks what well, looks to be a gap on there, but the 14 looks similar to me. I don't see what you guys are seeing. Um, I'm not saying you're lying. I'm just saying that I just don't see it. I did bring this up to Lenovo. They haven't answered me back yet. Um, 
and we'll see what they say about it. I also asked them for specifics on who supplies the trackpads for these two particular laptops. Does Sensel actually supply this? And does Chiconi, or however you pronounce that, supply the one for the 15? Hoping to get some clarity on that uh, today, and then I can answer that in the comments. But as far as feel goes, uh, we're gonna check that out next. All right, guys, let's talk about these trackpads. Okay, so this is the 14 inch right here. And over here we have the 15 inch trackpad. Some people are saying there might be a difference in the feel of these as, comp as compared to a MacBook. Um, so what I have here is a MacBook Air. And uh, this is my wife's MacBook Air. And I've used Macs, I've, I've had several Macs, and upon playing with these trackpads, playing with the MacBooks here, this haptic feedback on this one feels a little less um, pronounced. When I click on it, I, I can feel the, the, the response uh, in the click, but it's not very firm. Uh, when I come to the 14 inch X9, this feels similar to what I'm feeling on the MacBook Air over here. Similar, but slightly more, um, more feedback on this one. And when I come to the 15, this one has the most uh, feel to it. The, the, the responsiveness on the 15, I feel like it's given me more of a, of a bump. Like it actually feels like a click. Where on the 14, it feels similar to the 15, but slightly less. And then finally, when I come to the MacBook Air, I click on this one, and this one has the least amount of feedback uh, to me. So again, you guys have to take this with a grain of salt. You have to take it, this is just my opinion and how I feel and what I'm feeling. Uh, I highly recommend that you guys uh, try and go find your own uh, units to kind of play around if you can find a Best Buy or something like that where you can play with them and get the feel for yourselves. So to me, I feel out of the, out of the three trackpads that I have here, out of the, uh, the MacBook Air, the uh, X9 14, and the X9 15, my preference right now is this 15 inch. It gives me the best feedback click to the pad. The 14 also feels good. It's just slightly less, um, pronounceable than the one on the 15. Let me talk about the bezels on these displays. I know that some of you uh, pointed out the bezels on the 14. As you can see on the 14, the bezels are glass. The whole, the entire glass goes to edge to edge. There's a small, small little kind of gasket type uh, material along the, the edges and that is there to protect the screen when you close the laptop. So um, the opposite is um, evident here on the 15. The 15 has actual kind of plastic um, bezels here, like a traditional laptop. So the display, the actual glass does not come to the edge um, like on the 14. This doesn't bother me. I know that some people mentioned that, that it bothers them, but it, it really is not noticeable to me, whether or not it is to you, I guess, you know, it, it's an aesthetics thing. Maybe you don't like it. Um, I actually prefer this design here on the 15. And I know I'm sounding like I, ha <laughs> I have a preference, but I do have a preference, which is the 15, but, um, when you close it, I feel like it'll protect the the, the display better from from the uh, from the keyboard than on the 14 over here. And the Mac, uh, just because I have it here, the MacBook is actually very similar to the 14-inch uh, X9. Uh, this has a slightly thicker gasket type thing on the on the edge of the display, just like the 14 here. So I think that that's very similar but i know that macs have had issues with the displays uh getting kind of um messed up with the keyboard when you close the display down like this it rests and sometimes it creates an issue with the display i'm not saying that's going to happen but you know it is something that has happened in the past with other macs 
So, uh, sorry for if I'm janky on the camera work today. I am doing this on my own one-handed, so we'll have to just uh, work with what we got. All right, the last thing I want to talk about are these keyboards. I know someone mentioned the brightness of the keyboards and they felt like the brightness wasn't as good as it should be. Here's your 14 inch. Uh, I turned the lights off in this room and blocked out as much uh, natural light as I could. And I have the keyboards at full brightness here. And that is the 14 inch right there. Let me turn it off and uh, let's see what it looks like when it's off. So it's really hard to tell because the camera does compensate for the lighting conditions in here. So um, let me turn it back on. This is on auto. Then we turn it on to the next brightness level. And then the highest brightness level is there. Uh, I don't have too much of an issue with this lighting. I do think it could be brighter. Uh, I do see a lot of light bleed underneath the keys coming from under. It would be nice to minimize that more and have the lights, uh, you know, illuminating the letters and numbers and symbols a little bit more, but it's not awful. And there it is with it off but there is a substantial amount of light bleed from underneath the caps. And you know, that's noticeable. And yeah, I, I'm gonna say that that, is, that needs improving. It's a first generation product, so I think that uh, they will improve that at some point. But the 15 here, let's go down here. That's, that's a full brightness and you can see the light bleed as well. I mean, it's the same exact keyboard, so it, it's gonna be very similar, but let's look for, uh, let's turn it off. Okay, so here we have the off position. And there is nothing coming through there. And you turn it on, and there you go. You got some light bleed, and that is that is the highest position right there. Uh, the first notch is the auto, and then you have one and two, like a, a medium and high, or a, a low and high, and then off. So let you guys be the judge of how that looks as far as illumination goes. I'll turn it back off. That's off. And I'll turn it back on to auto. And then one and then two. So I don't have a big issue with this keyboard. I, I like the way it feels. I like the way it types. I, I like everything uh, as far as usability. Uh, the lighting, again, you guys called it out and I'm just showing it to you here. Uh, not a big deal for me, might be for you guys, so you have to be the judge. All right guys, that has been the uh, ThinkPad X9 14 and 15 inch models here side by side. I just wanted to do this video because I know a lot of you have been wanting some more information, at least what I can provide, hopefully can provide you with some sort of clarity on the trackpads, uh, the keyboards, the displays, and the bezels. Um, these are identical, they're, I mean, 14 and 15 inch identical laptops, same displays, same keyboards. The trackpads are still up for debate. I have not gotten clarity on that from Lenovo on whether or not they are the same um, distributor manufacturer that makes the trackpads for both of them or they've gone with two different um, manufacturers in this case. Uh, my final thoughts are the displays. I do not, I still do not see a screen door effect uh, on either one of these. Um, it's interesting, let me push, this looks different because I have that position different, there we go. I was just looking at the, uh, the glare there. I do have the displays down to almost the uh, least amount of brightness they have. Let me pull them all the way up. All right, so that's full brightness there. And let's go full brightness on this one. All right, full brightness on that one. So you can see a little glare there. I know it has the anti-glare reflective coating. Uh, it's not perfect, but it works for me. You know, I I try to minimize the light that uh, I'm in anyway when I'm working. So as far as screen door effect, I still don't see a screen door effect on either one of these displays. Um, again, this might be something that you 
see yourselves. And I think it's very, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna vary from person to person. So, um, as far as the keyboards go, I really love both the keyboards. They both type well, they feel good. Got nice travel, nice tactile, tactile feedback. As far as the trackpads go, I prefer the one on the 15. It feels a little firmer. I feel like it's an actual mouse click uh, when I'm when I'm pushing it. On the 14, it feels good too. It's just slightly less haptic, less feedback. I haven't jumped in the settings to see if there's uh, settings in here for that particular uh, trackpad. And uh, maybe I'll just jump in there real quick. Let me see real quick and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I was gonna let you go there, but now I jumped into the settings menu of the touchpads. And here's the 14, and I found something interesting that I think I know why you guys are saying these are different manufacturers. If you look over here on the 14, you have uh, cursor speed, clinks, click sensitivity, and touchpad uh, feedback. Um, and those are the options. You have uh, several other options on the bottom there. So I, if you come over here to the 15, that, is not the case here. We're missing the click sensitivity option on the touchpad for the 15. And that's pretty interesting. Um, so you guys might be right. This might be a different manufacturer. This might be the one from Chaconi on the 15. Uh, and I don't have an option to change the click sensitivity on this one. But on this one, on the 14, I do have that click sensitivity option. And if I go over there and I bring it up to 100, and it does change the, it doesn't change the haptic, it just change, changes, uh, it just change the force required to click your touchpad. I see. It doesn't really give me any more feedback. I, I guess it just uh, changes how hard you have to push. All right, now I jumped into the uh, touchpad feedback and the you can change the intensity on that here on the 14, but you also have that on the 15, the intensity. And they're both set at the same, and the intensity feel on both of them, uh, the 14 feels a lot less even at the same setting, but if I click it up, that does that does increase it quite a bit. And if I bring it over here, yeah, I mean, you can maybe hear it. Uh, you can't because I have a lav mic on, but um, you can definitely feel difference when you change the intensity. So the only difference between the two touchpads in settings is that the one on the 15 does not have the click sensitivity option. So anyway, I hope that could help you guys out. Um, if you have questions, please drop them in the comments below. I appreciate you guys commenting on the videos I've been making. Uh, I joked with a commenter today that uh, I'm going to turn into the ThinkPad X9 channel. I feel like I've been doing all these X9 videos quite a bit, and, um, you know, that's all right. I'll try to help you guys out as much as I can. Uh, if you guys can help me out and hit the subscribe button uh, and comment below uh, and make sure you like the videos, go back and like some of the other videos and from the past, check out some of the, the older stuff. Don't go back too far because uh, some of the stuff in the past has not been very good, so... Anyway, uh, that is all I have for you guys today, and please take care of yourselves, each other, and be kind, and we will talk to you on the other side.